and welcome to another Elite Audio video and you will probably notice immediately that I am sporting a bit of a shiner. Um, it was a miscommunication. I said to Andrew we were going to do an unboxing video and he misheard me. Um, and anyway, hopefully Andrew will be back with us all very soon having made a full recovery. Anyway, um, today I have in front of me the amazing Hi-Fi Rose RE280 that I mentioned in a previous video and I'm going to use our trusty Stanley 99E to unbox this beautiful machine and we will then get it set up. This is simply an unboxing video and a preview to a much more in-depth listening review that will come in about a week to a fortnight's time. Um, but I am genuinely really excited to get this open. Uh, so without any further ado, let us carry on with the unboxing. So you can see the Ahari 280 comes double boxed. So another, it's like, it's like a Russian doll scenario. Let me get through this layer and we'll see what's inside. So before we get into the box itself, I can see straight away there's a large foam cap on top and then there's obviously side packing too. So let's carry on and see how far this goes. So the amplifier, as you can see, is in a very nice uh, logo branded Hi-Fi Rose black bag. So let me get the box out of the way and let's have a look at this beautiful piece of equipment. So those of you that will remember my Antipodes K22 unboxing and how surprised I was at the way, actually I was so surprised it rendered me speechless for a few seconds. Um, this is actually slightly different now. If you know the Hi-Fi Rose range, you will know that this amplifier is technically going to be the sibling to the Hi-Fi Rose RA 180 that came out a couple of years ago. And the interesting thing was with that amplifier is it was kind of met with, I would say, a Marmite response to its aesthetics. Um, it was very much a steampunk looking amp. And I think what Hi-Fi Rose have done here, they've tamed a lot of this down. I, the initial, I mean, I've seen photographs of it, but now seeing it in the flesh, it looks great. I've got to say, it just looks beautiful. Um, the technology, as you know, Hi-Fi Rose uh, use what they call as Class AD. Now we're all familiar with usual amplification types, Class A, Class AB, Class D. And whilst Class D brings great advantage in terms of signal to noise ratio and things like total harmonic distortion, many people feel that it doesn't quite deliver in terms of the overall sound. Now, I know that's a very much of a blanket statement and I've heard Class D that generally doesn't uh, fall into that category, but they use a very clever gallium nitride setup which they feel gives the best of both worlds, giving you an analog sound but with all the advantages that Class D can bring as I previously outlined. It's a 250 watt uh, into 8 ohm amplifier which is tremendous amount of headroom it has the tone controls, which I personally like. That can give you up to 15, plus 15 or minus 15 uh, dB gain, both for bass and treble, which gives you tremendous scope to tune this to exactly how you want it to sound. Um, I've got to say, I, I just love the look of it. I really do love it. Um, let me get it set up. We'll then have a quick chat about the amp and um, yeah, we'll see what it sounds like and that will give us the basis for our future coming review. 
One other quick thing to say is there is actually an accessory box which was hidden under the bottom foam cap which has the very nice words welcome attached to the front and in here we will find a various selection of mains cables and I'm just trying to see if there is in fact a UK one there indeed there is a UK one there's a NEMA one and there's a Shuko one so all bases covered with there. There's an owner's manual too, for good measure, which is actually a very nice, it looks like A5 size document, which will take you through all the key aspects of the Hi-Fi Rose. In fact, the entire Hi-Fi Rose range is in here, which is quite a nice touch, as you can see. Um, there's also a very simple and basic looking remote control which is metal which is nice uh, there's a little tab for activating the battery this will give you the ability to power on mute and adjust the volume control all from this nice little remote right let's get it set up so the amplifier is now set up in our small listening room and I've got to say straight out of the box, I am really, really impressed with this amplifier. I honestly can't wait to put it through its paces properly once it's been fully burnt in, which we will be doing over the next week. Now, a couple of initial things that I've, I would like to comment on or my observations are, firstly, the tactile nature of the controls on this amplifier are really, really beautifully done. They feel so precise and high quality. The rotation of the volume control just feels like it's got the right amount of resistance. Sometimes these things can turn too quickly or they're too heavy and they feel like they kind of clunk their way around. Not with this, it's just beautifully progressive. I like the simple use or the way that you can access the tone controls. Um, one flick, they're on, they illuminate. When they're on, they're, uh, they, by default, they are off. The back illumination disappears when the tone controls are turned off. So very quickly, even just by glancing at your amplifier, you can tell whether the tone controls are on or off. Again, the tactile nature of these tone controls is really impressive. I love the VU dials. You can see again from our initial video, you can turn these off and there's two brightness settings as well. My personal taste is that the one setting, which is the dimmer of the two brightness levels, I think looks great on the amplifier. Again, the input selector is very easy to use and it's very intuitive. It's fairly obvious what it's doing. But it's, it sounds great. We used an Eversol DMPA6 very quickly as a source, driving a pair of Revival Audio Sprint 4s, which again, always impressed, but that combination Sounds fantastic. At £2,999 for this amplifier, this is going to be a tough act to follow, I think. As I say, I've only had a brief listen. I've listened for about half an hour or so, let it warm up, and then I've played some of my favourite tracks. I really like it a lot, I've got to say. The depth, the scale, it's a very, I would say, neutral presentation, maybe with a slight hint of warmth. The separation is fantastic. I played a my usual Sanson Dance Macabre, and once again, it did not fail to impress. The separation, it controlled that moment where the dynamics and the transient comes crashing in. And as I mentioned in previous videos, this is the point where some amplifiers run for the hills and literally shut off. They go into protection mode because the current demand is so high. Not with the Hi-Fi Rose, I turned the volume up again and again just wondering if I'm going to get to the point where that might happen, but it never did. And again, it just got louder and louder. No obvious signs of distortion. For an amplifier straight out of the box to impress that much, that again speaks volumes of what's to come. I'm honestly genuinely excited about the burning process and where that's going to go. I'm absolutely going to take this amplifier home and use it with, you know, in a relaxed evening, a glass of wine, some of my favorite music, and let's just see what emotional trip or road that takes me down. So there you go, very quick introduction to the RE280. I think this is going to be a class leader and an absolute winner for Hi-Fi Rose. I'm absolutely delighted that we have it in our portfolio. 
I love how it looks, I love how it sounds initially, but I will be putting it through some more demanding tests in the coming week. Now we reach the point of the video where I have a huge favour to ask. I was, I must admit, I was in two minds about doing the video this week with my black eye. I know it's not the most attractive thing, um, and some of you might be a little bit shocked to see it, but I guarantee it happened in a very innocuous way. Um, and if you watch the start of the video, you'll know exactly how it came about. Anyway, um, if you're enjoying the video content, if you like the products that we're bringing to you, then my favour is to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like the video and subscribe, that would be massively appreciated. As you know, we're a very small, dedicated team of audio professionals here at Elite Audio, and every single like and every subscription means a huge amount to us. We have a a weekly staff meeting and one of the items permanently on our agenda is how many new likes we've had to our YouTube channel. If you saw the response that it gets when you guys like our channel, I think you'd be quite surprised. It really does mean that much to us because we care that you're enjoying what we're producing here for you at Elite Audio. And again, unless you've been hiding under a rock for the last few weeks, you will know that next week is the Bristol Hi-Fi Show. All the details of how you can visit our room will be in the video description uh, below and you can see how you can book tickets for the show. I will also detail all the equipment we will have uh, exhibiting at the show. Primarily we're running an electro compagnie with a Revival Audio System and the amazing Zensati cables which are a revelation to say the least. Mark Johansson and his team in Denmark have done an incredible job with these cables. I'm so excited to bring these to the show for you guys to hear. So please come in, say hello to us, we'd love to meet you. You can meet the representatives also from Zensati, Electric Compagnie and Revival Audio who will be on hand to answer all your very difficult technical questions. And again, it's going to be a great weekend in Bristol. So we hope you can make it. We look forward to seeing you then. And until next week's video, hopefully my black eye will be somewhat improved. And I hope you have a tremendous and great week listening to music. I really appreciate you watching the video this week. So until the next video, please take care and I will look forward to seeing you then.